How's it going, everybody? Game Reviews here. Welcome to week four of the Elite Battle League Season 3. This week, I am taking on uh, Stone Family 64, Cap Coach of the Atlanta Braviaries. As of right now, our record between them is 0-3. I hope I'm able to pull out the win today, but if not, oh my gosh. Honestly, you know what? Real quick. Um, Matt, no matter what happens in today's battle, I wish you the best of luck. I really do. And I also need to give a quick big shout out, shout out to Offline Nuzlocke, who has been basically the biggest help of ever this entire season. Um, there's a reason why, one of the reasons why I've been winning like every week so far, it's with Offline's help. He's the, him and I are on call at least once a week, strategizing, figuring out team builds, uh, analyzing what Pokemon he's gonna go, the opponent's gonna go into. And you know what, offline, thank you so much. And I'll see you guys when the battle begins. Okay, so uh, first off, I did mispredict three of his Pokemon. I thought he was gonna bring Glalie, Weavile, and Alakaz, well, sorry, two of his Pokemon. I was expecting Weavile and Glalie against my team. That Weavile with Ice Shard is nuts, but my strategy right now is to basically bait out, make him think that I have a Shuckle lead. Because he saw that Shuckle, he's probably like, okay, he's leading off with Shuckle. So according to from my perspective, he's leading off with that Kartana. He said a buff, who I don't think is the Kartana. No, it's the Arcanine. Oh, okay then. I don't okay the buff it okay I like that idea because it did leave me with attack drop um the question is do I detect here or do I see what else he's got going for me because our canine is gonna be a big a bit of a pain so I guess I could actually go for detect here first to see what's going on oh my gosh uh, he definitely kicked it off right because I, I have to baton pass. Like, I gotta save my Salamance. Oh, sorry, I gotta save my Blaziken. That Klefki is gonna be able to do anything to me. I gotta say, that was... That, right off the bat, that was a strong play. Timmy B, he sent out the Starmie. Okay. So... Okay, the tech's not gonna really do anything, but I'm getting a speed boost off of this. Do I have a Unaware set though, or do I have a Water Absorb set, Quagsire? Do I actually go in the Magnus Magna Zone here? Because I also have this Heavy Duty Mon in the back as well, which is good preparation. Um, the rest of his team though, I'm really thinking I just Baton Pass here. Oh, he outsped me! Oh my gosh! I was not expecting an outspeed right there, I need... Honestly, at this point then, you know what? Because what's Blaziken's base speed? His base speed is 110. Um, Do I go for the risk here? Do I risk it and go for it? I ri you know what I do here? He gave me an open shot right here. I'm risking it and I'm just going right into it. Um, that being said, I don't think he's expecting a crunch here. Or do I Dynamax here and go for it? I don't really know right now. Oh! He Dynamaxed. Okay, I should have Dynamaxed. I should have Dynamaxed. He did it right off the bat. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh my gosh. Okay. I do. Oh crap, I did, I did a baton pass to minus one. That was my fault. Thankfully, the rest of my team could still hold their own. Because. Magnezone is a is a freaking powerful Pokemon right there for sure. Oh my gosh! He threw up so much physical defense on that thing. No! <laughs> he shut out my Salamance. Oh my gosh. At least you know what? I mean, I guess I could accept that. Because now I can bring out the Shuckle here. And heavily just, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna do that here actually. You know what? We're we are doing shuffle here first. 
I think Shuckles Ray gonna survive, but I think hell no, I don't. Probably has defog on that um annoying uh Togekiss as well. But he took out the one Pokemon that he took out one of the bigger threats, for sure. Okay, Max Geyser, that's fine. It's not it's basically what happens is that I stall out three turns of Dynamax. And that's all that matters to me right now. I stall his Dynamax, which is fine. Um, I could go for the double protect here, and I think that's exactly what I'm going to do, actually, is double protect. Shoot, I didn't get the protect off. That's fine. You know what? That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Because now I can do, actually... Because, see, up against his team, though... Um, okay, I'm thinking I do... Yeah. I think that's what I do here. I go for a Calm Mindset here. Right now, I don't think he's going to be expecting... I don't... Because Espeon's never been seen before. I think I call Mind here. He Thunderwaves me. Magic Bounce. BAM! Take that. You get the Magic Bounce, dude. BAM! Here we go. And I call Mind here. Because... What I'm thinking of right now is that I want him to bring out that. Okay, because looking at his team right now, though, I think I call mine again. Because I think what he's going to do is swap here. Everything he has is going to deal neutral damage. So if I call mine again, I'm going to Dynamax afterwards. Yeah. He, he, he took out the Salamance. <laughs> Matt, honestly, that was incredible. I will gladly give you that. I will give you that for sure. Nimitz, okay. So, I'm anticipating I'm not going to be able to outspeed here. I should have probably done, done, gone for the Shadow Ball here, but that's fine. Because what I can do here is... Oh, wait, let me actually protect first to see what this thing's gonna do to me. U turn. Okay, he would have gone for a U turn, that's fine. So if, we're done U so if he's gonna go for a U turn, then I'm baton passing out of here into Salem, into a uh, Magna Zone. Yeah, I'm baton passing here, there's no question about that. This is a baton pass move. That's fine. Does he have- okay, so he has to swap in first, which is totally fine. Cortana. Oh, his Cortana is out. He brought the Cortana right now, okay. Cortana is gonna be mutual effectiveness. Nothing I have over here is super effective. Both super effective, but both those are physical attacks. Um, you know what? This is gonna be a little risky play right here, but I feel like I gotta go for it here. And what I'm thinking of doing is, I. What's what? Do I Vault Switch or Magnarize here? Because this Cartana is going to be annoying. Oh, cannot believe he did that to me. Um. Oh, no, I don't. I cannot waste a Dynamax here. I cannot waste a Dynamax. Sacred Sword me, that's fine. I have. I must say, I have Sturdy on me, so it doesn't really make a difference. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! Okay, that was like the biggest threat. That was the biggest, biggest threat for me. What was that? Buff, which is the Arcanine, which is fine. Um, 
Because it's going to outspeed me anyways. This thing is going to outspeed. I'm not stupid. So, not, not that I can really do here, honestly. Like, I was not expecting the Arcanine. Of all the Pokemon, I was not expecting Arcanine. At least I did take out his Kartana though, which was definitely the most important thing for me. His Entei is gonna- his Arcanine is gonna outspeed me though, I know that much. Yeah. A Flurry Blitz, to me, yeah, that's a knockout right there, unfortunately. Which is fine. Um... That being said though, I don't know if Arcanine could actually outspeed... Um... Quagsire though, that's the thing. So I think I go for a yawn here and force itself to move out of the way, maybe? Um, I think I yawn here. Yeah, I yawn here. Because he's going to see me as like, oh, I'm going to have a type move on me. Oh my gosh. This is intense. <laughs> like, this is so intense. Alright, he withdrew the good. That's what I wanted him to do. Not Misty, though. No! That, that, oh, oh, Misty's with a toga kiss. Okay, that's good then. So, he has the option of either staying in and trying to deal damage to me. As for me, I'm not just going with the Ice Beam here. Because I still have my Espeon lined up with Shadow Ball. Oh, and he yawned me. Okay. So basically, it was like, yeah. So if you're going to get yawned, I'm going to get yawned as well. That's fine. I'll, I'm just going to Ice Beam here. That really did not do anything. And now it's asleep. So, I know this is bait. I know I'm getting baited, but I'm going to have to take it here. This is what I have to do here, is I'm taking the bait. Okay. Timmy B, same back out that Starmie, that's fine. I don't want to be too cocky though and go for another Calm Mind, but I feel like I have to here. Because he knows I'm going to outspeed anyways. I think if I call mine here, and then Dynamax afterwards, I'll be I'll be in the clear. Okay, that's big. Or do I Dynamax here, or do I? I think I just Shadow Ball here, because I'm gonna be expecting him to switch into his um Dragapult here. There, bring me the Dragon Pult. Please give me the Dragon Pult. Nimitz, this Dragon Pult. Let's take it out, Espeon. Let's go. Because he's not going to be expecting this. Yes! And now this is why I go for the Dynamax. I think I, I, think I Dynamax here. I got a Dynamax here because he has four Pokemon left. Keyblade. I love the name. Whoa, he has a shiny Klefki. Okay, Matt, I see you. I see you, Matt. I see you. Wait, no, now I feel like I gotta go for it here, because he's gonna sub craft he's gonna go crafty shield on me. Here there are sub shields. Either way, I just gotta just just take it out right now. I just gotta deal damage. That's all that's on my plate right now is doing that damage. That's all I can do here. Light screen, okay. And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing right now, honestly. Oh wow. This thing has so this thing has bulk. I, I should have, in hindsight, I should have gone for another Calm Mind there, but that's on me. Well, 
But like to be fair, this clef key is just all like I feel like it's like max defense and max special defense clef key. So really, would have made any difference for me here. We survived this play low, play up, which we do. That's good. I feel like I protect here. Yeah, I protect here to stall out another round. I, I protect here. It's stupid. It'll be stupid for me to go for another attack here. Dude, Matt, you really played really well this battle. And, like, I'm being honest, like, Matt, this is insane. This is incredible. Like, whatever happens, happens. But, like, dude, you played so damn well in this battle. I'm pretty sure he says one more turn of shields left. So, I feel like I just gotta go for the attack here now. I just hope for the best. Yep, no, I couldn't take it out. Looks like I'm it looks like I'm not getting a sweep this week. <laughs> Which is fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. And I'm just going for a brick break here in case he was thinking of like setting up shields. Yep, he was. Okay. I had to shut that thing down. Because my other- I feel like the R K9 though is going to have some uh-oh stuff on me. Yeah, that's going to have some uh-oh juice on me. For sure, but I'm going for a protect here right now because I want to like really just- Basically try to get my Quagsire the best playing chance possible here. Because both my other poke, my remaining Pokemon are both going to deal not very effective damage. Dude! Okay. So, I'm still getting a speed boost though, which is good here. I could survive one. So I feel like I go in for an attack here. And attack next turn. Yeah, that's that's three speed boost right there. I detect here. Try to get a fourth speed boost off, and then I gotta just hope. I gotta hope that I'm gonna be faster than it, even though I am paralyzed with a plus four speed boost. I sh I just hope I'm fast enough. We are fast enough, yes, that is a big move right there, that's a big move right there. Because Quagsire is seriously all the hope I have left, and yeah. Oh my gosh. Matt, we are totally gonna go over, I mean, I can tell you now, we are totally gonna go over. And I'm sorry, I am sorry, I am very sorry about that. Timmy B, okay, yep. It's like he already knows, honestly. I gotta go for the same type of attack bonus, honestly, and just start hidden. Let me see what else this guy has, actually, real quick. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> this is my first loss. This is a loss for me. Like, 
There's no other way around this. There isn't. <laughs> this is a complete loss for me right now. That critical did not matter at all. Like, like in all honesty, that critical did not mean anything at all. Oh my gosh. What is going on here right now? I like we're totally gonna it's totally gonna go down to it. Whoever has lot whoever has more health wins. There's no question about that. <laughs> but like Okay, yeah, no, P1. He won. Even if he goes for recovery here now, he definitely won. <laughs> Gosh. Matt, oh my god, Matt. Great game, great game. I'm not going down without a fight though, but still, great game. He, he seriously studied my gameplay so much. And everything, like there's like no other way around it. He studied, and like studied, studied, studied. My team. I, I guess maybe one thing I should have done, one thing I could have done better, was go in for the um, uh, what you call it? Was like go in for the uh, double call mine when he was gonna set up. Sorry, man. I'm not letting you kill my Blaziken. Okay, my Blaziken is gonna live, baby. All right, and yeah, my Blaziken's gonna live, but Matt, great first win. Honestly, great first win. Um, you definitely brought a Pokemon I had no idea you were gonna bring out. Honestly. Oh my gosh, Matt, that was seriously a well-deserved win though. Like, big congratulations to, do, to you. And again, Offline Nuzlocke, thank you so much for helping me build my teams every week, seriously. But with that, I will see you guys next week. We take on the Sylveon, oh, sorry, the uh, San Diego Sylveons, yeah, against the, and their, uh, their coach, Tara. Take care.